let me just tell y'all how God is amazing. The higher power, the universe, however you want to identify with God, is amazing. So, y'all, let me just give y'all some backstory on me before I even get into this. Okay, so a lot of people know I have told my story about why I am a spiritualist, how I became a spiritualist, the events that happened to lead up into my death. Um, which brought me closer to my spiritual path. June 11, 2016, I had a topic pregnancy where I was pe- pregnant with twins and my left fallopian tube, my tube ruptured. During surgery of removing the tube, I my heart stopped beating twice, so I died. Technically, okay? The experience that I had from that is the reason why I'm a spiritualist today. So let's fast forward into the spiritual journey of mine. I gave birth to my fourth child, which was my sixth pregnancy, because I did have six pregnancies. I had a miscarriage in 2016. I also had a miscarriage. Um, We had a miscarriage right before Michaela was conceived in 2021. We had a small miscarriage in May, and then I got pregnant again in July with Michaela in 2021. So she was born February 28th, 2022, uh, which she was born four weeks early, but... Anyway, y'all, I only had one fallopian tube. So let me just say that my last two children has came from one fallopian tube. Me and my husband made a decision to remove the tube, right? So when we gave birth to our daughter, the doctor removes the tube as of today, December 11, 2023. We are carrying a baby. When I say mind blown, y'all, I have, we, I, I ain't gonna say we, I have cried tears. My husband is completely shocked because it's a question of how, you know, if you don't have your fallopian tubes, you're not supposed to get pregnant. But in rare cases, there have been cases where women have gotten pregnant. I have both my ovaries. I still have my uterus, but I don't have my fallopian tubes. And somehow the hunts. Is carrying a precious little baby due August 2024. So, when people say that you're on a spiritual path and a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't do anything for me. In my case, in our case, we are sh- get, we are shown in so many different ways how powerful we are. We are shown in how many different ways of how divine we are and truly how God made us. Y'all, I'm grateful. We just got back from the ultrasound and to see that everything is in place. Me, mom, is healthy. Baby is healthy. And recreating life. Y'all, God is amazing. So, all I can say is I am divine and I am powerful. And y'all have an amazing day. I think this is the only right for me to document this journey. Um, So I am currently five weeks pregnant. And I think I'm five weeks in one day. And yesterday we had an ultrasound where it confirmed that the baby was inside the uterus. But of course the um, gestational sac sac has not opened up yet to where we can see if this is a viable pregnancy or not, um, but the baby is in place and I do not have any of my fallopian tubes. However, I do have both my ovaries. Okay, so I'm officially a week late off my period, but today I started started spotting. Um, no pain, of course. Of course, I'm nervous because of the fact that I really don't supposed to be pregnant because of I got civilization done. But, you know, God said otherwise that, you know, you can have another child, so I'm just a little nervous because of the spotting. The spotting is not bad. I have not worn any sanitation pads or things or anything to catch it because it's not it's not bad. I know this is TMI, but however, this is a educational video of my experience, and I hope that this experience can help someone. You know, um, it's not a bright red. It's not pink. It's like brown. It's very dark. So I do feel like this is implantation bleeding. 
and just my uterus since it is powering back up let's just say that um a lot of blood flow is coming to this thing so it's getting rid of that old gunk that has been sitting there so i understand the process i'm not hurting but i have been hydrating and i have been in the bed most of today so hopefully tomorrow will be a lot better and i will update you guys but yes i'm officially pregnant with no tubes i do have both my ovaries and i'm officially five weeks in one day so stay tuned so i am still spotting the blood is now in my urine and I'm gonna try not to freak out, but I'm actually fucking scared right now. Hey y'all, so I am in the exam room at Moga here in Memphis. We are getting, um, excuse me, more tests and things done from yesterday's hospital visit from me spotting. I have not passed any clots. I have not passed um, any tissues or anything that give me the sign that I'm miscarrying, however. Sorry, so um, I don't have any clots. I have not passed any clots or tissues that will give me the sign that I'm having a miscarriage, however, I am spotting you all. So this, I'm not gonna say this is new for me because I have spotted, um, this is my seventh pregnancy. So let me just give y'all some background. This is my seventh pregnancy. I have four live children. I've only had two miscarriages. One was an etopic pregnancy in 2016, so I only had one fallopian tube when I gave birth to my last two children. Um, I got my fallopian tube removed when I had my daughter last year, February. Needless to say, I have no fallopian tubes and I'm pregnant. So, um, I've been having some spotting, no cramping, no pain or anything like that. Um, and I went to the hospital yesterday because of the spotting, because of course, as a mom, as a woman, you are alert when you see blood because you don't suppose to, but sometimes in some cases, those are rare cases. And since this is one, I came to see a uh, great OBGYN here in Mocha, here in Memphis. So y'all stay tuned. I'm hoping that we have great news, hoping that baby hunt is okay. And we'll be arriving in August of 2024. So we'll see. So I had my ultrasound and they was unable to see a gestational sac. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not as forward as right now. Like, I don't want to be emotional and sad, but it's just like, what mom or what mother want to go through this? So, we'll see what the doctor say. It's like it's nerve-wracking sitting here waiting for test results waiting for an understanding of exactly what's going on and I just hate I just hate I have to go through this I hate that my family has to go through this like it's always exciting when you find out that you're pregnant but then it's always the underlining worries and fears that you have to go through and that's exactly where I'm at right now I'm trying to stay mentally strong, try, trying to not panic, but it has been a rough week for us, for me, and I'm just waiting to get an understanding of what exactly is going on here, so I'll be back out, but right now I'm just not even, I can't. 